Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and today I'll be getting Android apps to work in Blend OS. Okay, let me click on this button over here to go to the taskbar. I'll go ahead and show apps. I'll go ahead and select system. I'll select Android apps. And it says if you authorize Android app support, you may, you may be asked to enter your password repeatedly to authorize Android. Let's click on to authorize. You may have to type it multiple times your password. Here we go, being asked again. Amazing. So we can install a store. They have um, a Dario store, an open source Google Play store client. They also call Android, an installable category of force app Android applications. Let's go ahead and install Android. Okay, it's now installed. I'm gonna go ahead and press on this open button. <laughs> And this is the um, the Android application updating repertories. I'm gonna make this bigger screen. It has finished loading, and here are some applications on the um, home page. They have a couple over here. We've got everyday tasks, which will manage your tasks every day. They also got DuckDuckGo, web browser. Um, they have a couple of um, programs on here and they're all open source. I'll go ahead and install a random application. The one here, it says install unknown apps. Yeah, allow um, from the source. And the application I'll be installing is going to be Bura. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this install button. Do you want to install this application? Install. We cannot go ahead and open it. And if I, for example, search up for Terrace, search Bishkek, Kyrgyzstan, if I don't go ahead and open it, at the moment it is um it's kind of raining today <laughs> so you guys can see um just show up um it's mostly clear it feels like 24 degrees so this is basically a very um simple web application so you guys can see what web is like around this world so it seems like today was raining on saturday it's going to be raining again on Sunday it's raining, on Monday it's quite sunny, on Tuesday it's sunny, Wednesday we've got a bit of cloud as well as sun, Thursday is really cloudy. So yeah, I'm looking forward to a rain. <laughs> but yeah, this is Bishkit. Alright, go and click over there. I think this is closes out of it. But I can click on to open and this allows me to reopen up the application. And it's on the taskbar. This is, so we can open up from the taskbar as well. So it will show be sure to be displayed in the um, show applications catalog. So we can easily open it without opening up the Android. Amazing, isn't it? I'll go back and now I'm going to go ahead and use the search function. And now I can go ahead and search up applications. Say bar. Tux cart. So they do have super tux cart here. So if you guys want to install Android or Android games, it should probably work as well. Function seems to be working completely fine. You guys can select updates, and there's an update to Fdroid. So I'm gonna go ahead and update um, Fdroid, update it, um, install. Amazing, and now it looks like Fdroid should now be up to date. Um, congratulations, your apps are up to date. Categories, so we had they got updates, we've got settings. Um, 
so if you guys want to go ahead and change the settings you guys can indeed do so with android okay let's go ahead and install aereo store click on this install button and it's just start installing let me click on to open how are you doing um, next um, installer select a suitable installer click on to root installer shell base installer using root privacies um, let's go in and select the top one because that one is recommended allow area store to open supported links enabled 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 so things is enabled permissions grant go ahead and to grant some permissions grant allow go ahead and allow that click on to finish we can log in with google we can log in as anonymous um let me log in as anonymous shall i Awesome. Oh, it keeps crashing on me. <laughs> okay. So it seems like Aquarius Store is not working properly. Um, I'm, if it goes try to log in in Google, it may work. But I don't know why it's not working. It just keeps crashing on me. But I'm just going to use F-Droid as that one works perfectly well for me. I'm going to go ahead and install a calculator. So if I go ahead and search up for um, calculator, over there we've got um, open calc. If I click on to install, open. And now we can use this, um, this calculator. Isn't this amazing? Anyway, guys, this was meant to be a very simple demo of using Android apps in Blend OS. Um, at the moment, it does have issues with Aereo Store, but I haven't had any issues with F-Droid. Um, so hopefully that does get fixed in the future. And I'll be happy to make a video on Aereo Store once it does get fixed. But at the moment, F-Droid seems to working fine, completely fine for me. If you guys like this video, please put a like and please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.